hello guys starting a new video so today i'm going to teach you guys the function if and else so this function if work uh, the function else just work with the function if so if you don't put if you won't actually the function else won't if won't work so basically i'm using a push button three three leds and jumper wires and arduino uno as you can see and uh, four 220 ohms resistor so i connected the negative pole of the leds to three of the 220 ohms resistors and out of all the resistor are connected to the gnd of the arduino and the positive of the leds i connected it individually using this jumper wires so the red led i connected it to the pin pin 8 pin 9 i mean the yellow LED I connect to pin 10 and the blue LED I connect to pin 11 so here in push button I connected this 220 ohms resistor to this pole right here this one and I connected this this signal wire this white wire i'm using it for a signal to the pin 8 of the arduino and to this pin right here as you can see right here and other pin i connected to the positive 5 volts positive of the arduino so let's go to the programming so guys here in the arduino app has always said first set up your arduino board uno then port that you connect your arduino then i already wrote the code i will explain it for you guys with details so here i set the variables so the lid red i named it pin red as you can see and pin yellow i use pin yellow and led blue i use pin blue and i set it the port the pins of arduino that i connected these lids and the bottom uh the bottom i connected it to pin 8 so i named it pin bottom pin 8 so here i set pin mode in setup i said pin mode of the lids all of them are outputs so pin red i use pin red to output pin yellow to output pin blue to output and pin button to input so here i i did this phase of the i did basically sorry i forgot to say this is a traffic light but it doesn't work with delays it works with the bottom when you click the button it changes the state of the traffic light so when i set it phase phase sema to name the state of the traffic light so i put a variable here and i put the state of the the button here up here so when you connect you connect uh, your arduino 
you sorry when you come here then you point you put if the first state of the Arduino equals one so I'm going to put here state one is let's put here a commentary close traffic so it means that when the first state is means on equals to on one I mean the blue light will be low the yellow light will be low will be off and the red light will be on here in state 2 I put the yellow light high that means on blue light off red light off here in state 3 right here I put blue light on that means open traffic and blue and blue yellow, yellow red light and yellow light off so let me remove this to and let me remove this So here I put if before the the phase the state of the the traffic light I put the phase can't be higher than three. So I put if phase same exactly is below three it adds face the anterior the anterior state plus one it means that imagine it is state in state one here in phase same one it when we click the button it will add one more that you save in the variable that you need two so we will turn on the phase 2 when we click another and again it will turn on the phase 3 so if doesn't it will equals phase we'll use else to if let me give a simple example if I go to school I will pass else I will I won't pass so it means like if if you are actually if the face same sub below below three add one more if doesn't else means if doesn't face same equals one so when it reach the phase 3 here in phase symmetry it will we return to phase 1 so a bit difficult to understand but it is not that difficult so let me remove this also and upload the program
so guys let's upload the program So, to fix that problem, you have to add a delay. Why add a delay? Because the program, the Arduino reads the, the loop very, very, very fast. So, when you click the, bot the button, it reads a lot of times and the lights light up very fast and light off very fast so I did delay and let's upload it so. as you can see when I click it So guys, here we are again in the program. So to fix that, you are going to add before before this that thing that we removed here. We are going to use this this end commercial and here so it means that it will read these two states in the same time so I have put here another another variable bottom bottom state and as the, the state before you click so to digital read pin button so to read the the bottom the pin of the button here this one so when you when you finish that you put here the button state equals to compare if you put equals it will add to the variable if you put two times is to compare so to read this two you have to put it both in this in this if to read both of them then you add the button state and equals low so it will read the bottom at one time and ignore all the times if you stay clicking it it won't read a lot of times and blink the lights so here before this closes we have to add put to state and equals button state
so now we fix the, that problem and let's upload it here we are guys now i'm going to upload it that I'm clicking only one time not a lot of times so guys that's all for today's video bye